Healthcare Tech Coach for SCCPSS, and today I'm going to show you how to utilize your Microsoft Teams and using it as a screen recorder where you can teach a lesson or a tutorial within Microsoft Teams uh, with a longer time, longer than 15 minutes as the average tutorial or screencasting application and have it stored in an area where only your students can be able to access it via Microsoft Stream. So to begin, you would need to open up your Microsoft Teams application and go to the calendar tab. Once you go to the calendar tab, you would then go to where it says meet now. Once you click Meet Now, you can change this into the, the name of your lesson or you can change this into the name of your tutorial. So I'm going to go in here and let's say I want to call this Monday's lesson. All right, so I'm going to click Join Now. And this is how it's going to start being a little bit different. From here, we're not going to invite any participants. We're just going to change it to start recording. So we're going to go up to those three dots. If you have not updated your Teams, it should be in the floating bar um, right there in front of you. And it's still the same three dots. And what you'll do is go to where it said start recording. Once you start your recording, you'll be notified, letting you know that it is now beginning, and this can be used as your screencast. Um, you can start screencasting by sharing your screen. So once you share your screen, I select desktop one so I can have all of my windows included. Uh, once you do that, you can go and begin showing whatever you would like to show to your students. So let's say you have a Google slide that you may want them to look at. You can go to that Google slide. This whole area where this red box is, is being shown right here. So if you had a math activity and you want to show your students, all right, guys, you'll come here and this is what you do for this assignment. You'll come right there and click on the circle and then drag the box over to the number, and that is how you do that assignment, okay? So I pretended like I was making a recording for a tutorial on an assignment. When I'm finished, I'm gonna come back to Microsoft Teams. I am then gonna go back to my ellipsis, the more button, and I'm going to start recording. Okay, it's letting me know that that recording is being saved and it renders probably within three to five minutes. It's going to go straight to your Microsoft Outlook inbox. From there, um, what you would do is come to where it says uh, your meeting recordings here. Once you go to Outlook, you can come and open that email and go to where it says go to your video now. When you click that, it's going to take you automatically to Microsoft Stream. That is where your lesson or tutorial screencast via team has been stored. Okay, and then just like that, you now have a longer extended version tutorial or screencast that you can make and Once share you with start your students. recording. Um, all you need to do is hit share and then copy that link and send that uh, via its learning or uh, messaging and it's learning or however you choose to uh, contact your students. And that is it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Have a great day.